currently 4.51 a.m. and I just pulled into the parking lot for this morning's boot camp. It's much warmer today than it's been the last couple of weeks, so I am not complaining about that. It's actually 50 degrees this morning, and when I was at boot camp on Friday, it was 33. I am still bundled up. I'll go ahead and pop a picture in here of what I'm wearing. I still have multiple layers on, really warm socks on. I even wore little earmuff things on Friday. I don't think I'll need those today. And then I'm wearing my Fit Yon leggings. These are those Lululemon dupe leggings that I'm obsessed with. You can buy them on Amazon, super affordable. I'll link them for you guys. But I'm excited to get back to boot camp. I haven't been since Friday. Today is a full body day, which she usually likes to really work us hard on Mondays, probably to make up for the weekend. So I'm excited to see what's in store for me today. I did make my protein coffee this morning. I'll pop up here on the screen what is in my protein coffee. I'll also link my collagen and fiber that I add to my coffee in the description box for you. I didn't finish it. I always like to drink just a little bit to get me motivated in the morning. And then I'll work on finishing that coffee when I get home today before I have some breakfast. So I am going to go ahead and grab my weights, grab my yogurt, yoga mat and let's go sweat it out at 5 a.m. Good morning guys, I am home from my workout. You saw that I put together my post-workout, my 6 a.m. run, BCAAs. I have these after every workout, whether it's boot camp or lifting weights, it really just helps with soreness and muscle recovery. My legs are pretty sore from today, so I know that I definitely, definitely need that. I also thought I'd share with you guys this cute vest that I bought off of Amazon. So it is a little bit of a cropped, vest so it is a little bit on the shorter side it does have strings that you can tighten it you can zip it up you can leave it open it is the softest warmest most comfortable vest and again i picked it up off of amazon super super affordable i'm actually considering going on to amazon and buying a couple more colors because it is that Perfect. My little sweater here is from Fashion Nova, so I'll link that down below for you guys as well. But I thought that I'd share with you this vest because it is so amazing. So it's time for breakfast. I am hungry. I actually have a new recipe here that I wanna try. These are the peanut butter crumble yogurt parfait. So you guys know I love a good yogurt parfait. The This recipe makes two. I'm gonna half the recipe and only make one. I'm also making a few more modifications only because I don't want as much sugary things that this recipe has. Like it calls for honey, it calls for molasses. So I'm gonna modify it a little bit, but basically we're making this really yummy protein packed parfait. So let me show you what we need for the peanut butter crumble yogurt parfait. So a non-fat plain Greek yogurt, honey. Now the recipe called for molasses too. Like I said, I'm making some modifications. You're going to need a nut butter and no surprise to anybody. I'm going to use American Dream nut butter. This is the Brianne's blend cookie batter, peanut butter, 15 grams of protein, you guys, and two tablespoons and only 145 calories. It is almost gone. So I thought that I would use it. Try to finish this up before moving on to another American Dream nut butter. I will link American Dream down below for you guys with 10% off. You're going to need some vanilla extract, rolled oats, coconut flakes. So these are the reduced fat coconut shredded, no sweetener coconut flakes from Sprouts. I'm going to use my Kodiak protein flour because I might as well get in a little bit more protein in this recipe. And then we need protein powder. So really any vanilla based protein powder. I'm trying to finish this one up from integrated nutrition. My recommendation too would be the devotion angel food cake. Amazing. We're making little cookie dough bites that go on top of our yogurt parfait. parfait. I mean, how good does that sound? So the first thing I'm going to do is put half of a cup of rolled oats into my little magic bullet. And we're just going to blend this down so that they're a little bit more fine. We don't want the big chunks of oats. You can maybe even use like quick cook steel cut oats, but I'm just going to blend them down just a little bit. 
So there we go. So it's a little bit more like an oat flour consistency. So I'm going to add the oat mixture to a bowl. And then I have a quarter cup of my American Dream nut butter. I'm going to put in one scoop of my vanilla protein powder, a quarter cup of my, my Kodiak protein flour, about a tablespoon of honey, and just under a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to stir this all together and the, this mixture is going to create the little cookie dough bites. So I did decide to go ahead and do the full recipe of the cookie dough bites because it says that you can store them for later and I can make another yogurt parfait another day this week. So I did go ahead and just do the whole batch of the cookie dough mixture. As always, this recipe will be on my recipe website and my recipe website is in the description box. So I'm going to mix this together a little bit more with my hands until we get a dough consistency. And then we're gonna roll this mixture out into little balls and I'll put them here on this baking sheet and then they're, gonna, they're going to go into our freezer while we put together the yogurt portion of the parfait. So I'm going to weigh out 140 grams of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and then one tablespoon or 14 grams of nut butter, 15 grams, close enough, a teaspoon of honey, and then we're going to stir that together until fully mixed. Look how good that looks with that nut butter with the cookies in it. Ooh, I'm so excited. And then I'm going to put my yogurt mixture into a fun little parfait glass, or in my case, a wine glass. I'm going to crumble up a couple of the cookie dough bites on top. And like I said, we can reserve these other ones. I'm just going to throw them in a little Ziploc bag and throw them into my fridge. And then I can make another parfait tomorrow or another day this week. And I'll have these protein packed little cookie bites on hand. We're going to top it with a little sprinkle of the coconut flakes. And there's our parfait. Doesn't that look amazing? I mean, peanut butter, yogurt with cookie dough bites on top, a little bit of coconut. We are definitely going to do a taste test on this. I will go ahead and put points, calories, and protein here on the screen for you. So let's taste test this and see if it tastes as amazing as I think it's going to taste. Okay, I am really excited. I'm actually going to mix some of those little cookie dough bites in with the yogurt. I want my bite to have a little bit of everything in it. Smells so good, cheers. Wow, what is, what, what is the magic in here? It is so good. It's peanut buttery, I get the oats, I get the chocolate, I get the tartness from the yogurt that kind of cuts the sweetness. Honestly, this would be a super, super good dessert, but it is also a protein packed breakfast. 10 out of 10. Three hours later. I have been working away, I've been on coaching calls, I've been editing, I've been doing macros, and UPS just dropped off this little goodie right here. This was sent to me from Dose of Literature. They are a small business, husband and wife, own business on Etsy. Now you guys know I love to support small business. I also buy a lot off of Etsy because they're all small businesses. So for me, that's kind of the first place I go to look for things. And with the holidays coming up, Etsy has some amazing, amazing gift ideas. And Dose of Literature is one of those gift ideas. So thank you so much to Dose of Literature for sending this over for me to share with you guys here on my channel. I actually got to pick the box that I wanted off of the website. So that was super exciting. It's heavy and I can't wait to dig in, but let me tell you a little bit about Dose of Literature. Dose of Literature, again, is a small, independently owned business on Etsy and they put together the perfect gift, bo gift box for the book lover in your life. They use previously loved books, so they recycle them, which is amazing. So they pride themselves on being eco-friendly and sustainable and everything is hand selected in the box. They do clean each book before they send it, but they are secondhand. They have so many book boxes available. I went ahead and selected the Indulgent Book Box. So it is $57.99 with free shipping. It has amazing reviews, 630 sales, all of which are five star. So in the Indulgent Box, you've got reads and indulgent treats. So it's going to come with some books, 
a candle, some tea, a mug, bookmarks, a jar of honey, coffee packets. I mean, just everything that you need to not only read and enjoy these secondhand recycled books, but also enjoy a little bit of self care while you're reading. Again, these are absolutely amazing gifts for the book lover in your life. Now I like to read. I don't have a lot of time to read, but I knew that by getting this box, it would inspire me to get back into reading a little bit more. So here is a little sneak peek at the box. We are going to go through. I'll show you everything that came in the indulgent box. And don't forget that there are a lot of other box options on their Etsy site. So you can customize the box for yourself or the box for a gift. So the first thing I'm seeing is this little card here that says we at Dose of Literature have taken the stress of looking for quality secondhand books out of your hands and into ours. We invite you to unplug and take some time for yourself. In your indulgent box, we have hand selected books along with a variety of items we know that you'll love and enjoy. Jared and Denise. And it looks like we received two little pins here. Here. So these first one is a stack of books and then there is an airplane. Those are super adorable. Wow. Look at this. Holy moly. Okay. So the first thing I'm seeing is 15 bags of tea and other beverages that you can enjoy. Look at all of these. So we have some chocolate mint from Stash. You guys know I love mint anything. We have white chocolate mocha, decaf chocolate hazelnut, and then from the brand Taylor's, we have lemon and orange, a decaf breakfast tea, or organic chamomile, English breakfast, and Earl Grey. Wow, I'm really excited for these. I love a good cup of tea, especially when it gets into the colder months. I like to just relax at night or in the morning with a nice hot cup of tea. And then it looks like we have two bath packs of Lando Lakes hot cocoa. So we have salted caramel and chocolate and mint chocolate. Oh, how do they know I love mint so much? I'm definitely excited about those as well. This is really exciting. This is from the brand Cuba Coffee. These are cold brew instant coffee packets. We have three of them. We have a mocha, a decaf, and then we have a medium roast. I love coffee, as you guys know. This is super convenient just to throw this little packet in and have some cold brew. Ooh, we have a Theo Organic Pure Milk Chocolate bar. You guys know I buy these bars all the time in my grocery haul. I love having a little bit of chocolate on hand. And this is a fair trade organic Theo chocolate bar. This is also speaking right to my heart. So we have three little shortbread chocolate ganache cookies from the brand Michael at Augustin. How cute are these? So you can have a cup of tea and a cookie. This is adorable. We have a little mini floral lined notebook. I use notebooks all the time to do video ideas or write out scripts for videos or take notes. This is super cute. We have this beautiful bookmark. I actually don't even own a bookmark, so I'm excited for this. It has a globe on it. It is a nice heavyweight, heavy duty bookmark. And we have a candle. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Look at this little candle in an adorable little tin. It smells so good. It's a sweet perfume type of smell. It smells really good. This is from Aha Hora, and this is a candle, travel candle from England. Ooh, you, I love candles. I'm definitely excited about this. We have a few things wrapped really nicely. In fact, this whole box is wrapped really nicely. This is adorable. We have another candle that is shaped like a honeycomb. Oh, that smells good too. This is a little bees wax votive candle. And then we have, oh, a little mini jar of honey. I love honey. I've been utilizing honey a lot more rather than artificial sweetener. You saw me put honey in my yogurt parfait this morning. This is from the brand Dickinson's. We have a cute little copper stir spoon. This is perfect for the tea, the hot chocolate, the cold brew. This is really nice and weighted. We have something else wrapped really nicely. This is so beautiful. We have a clear glass coffee mug. How perfect is this for the coffee, the tea, the hot cocoa? This is really, really nice with the little stir spoon literally everything you need. And then we have three books. So first we have from Leah Ruth Robinson, the book Blood Run. This is a little bit more of a thriller. It says quick, incisive, thrilling, a medical suspense novel that comes instantly alive. 
I love how old this is. I love that this is secondhand, a recycled book. I definitely love Thriller, so I'm excited for that one. And then from Jeffrey Deaver, we have The October List. And this is another Thriller book. It, it looks like it's about a kidnapping. And again, really, really nice shape and another recycled book. And then last but not least, wow, we have a hard-backed book. Ooh, this looks good. This is Alex North, and this is The Shadow. So again, another Thriller. It says they believed they could control their dreams instead they created a nightmare and this also in excellent shape and a really nice hard backed book so all of that is part of the indulgence box for $57.99 plus free shipping Dose of Literature was so nice to offer a discount code for you guys, so I'll link it down below for you. If you have a book lover in your life, if you're a book lover, if you want the perfect curated Christmas gift, you can't go wrong with Dose of Literature. Like I said, there's several boxes that you can choose from. I am really excited about the Indulgent Box. I love that we have chocolate and tea and coffee and candles and books. It's just really a beautifully curated box. So thanks again to Dose of Literature for sending this my way, and definitely check out their Etsy store and use the code in the description box to save some money. So I'm sitting here doing macros and I'm craving a second coffee. And today, if you order ahead on the Dunkin' app, you get a hundred bonus points. So I'm thinking that I may just make a little run to Dunkin' and get a second coffee for the day. That way it can fuel me through doing all these macros. So you can see all of these are people's macros that I need to do. I definitely think a second coffee is in order. Well, good morning. We're starting the morning off with a bang, huh? Hi, buddy. Hi, Diesel. Diesel's been in here with me, but Palmer just got up. Immediately, him and Lola start playing. Yes, immediately. Diesel, your big butt's in the way. Your big butt's in the way. Made my way to Duncan. I'm so annoyed at the Duncan app today. On Mondays, we're supposed to get free coffees through the app. So I activate the offer. I start an order. I order my coffee. I order Troy's sandwich, Troy's hash browns, three little donut hole things. I'm going to eat one. Troy's going to have the other two. And it doesn't take off the free coffee. And I cancel the order and start it over multiple times. So I don't know. The app changed with Duncan. It used to be really user-friendly. Now I just struggle to get it to do any of the offers that are activated. I even tried to do a free hash brown with the sandwich offer the other day. That didn't work. So I just just paid for the hash brown so I'm gonna ask when I get up front if they can credit me but honestly the service at this Duncan is kind of hit and miss so we'll see what happens I'll let you guys know and I'll show you what I picked up my coffee I just got a iced Americano with an extra shot black I'm going to put some of my sugar-free peppermint mocha creamer in there and then the girl was so nice she actually gave me a gift card for the cost of my drink since I didn't have my credit card with me so that was super super nice so I got Troy a sourdough breakfast sandwich and then we've got a couple of hash browns for him and then I told her to give me just three random donuts whole things and she gave me five so here's the one that I'm having cheers all right it's lunchtime I am hungry I bought these wasa crackers in my grocery haul and it has been years since I had these so I have been craving tuna salad and I thought these little crisp breads would be the perfect vessel for my tuna salad so I am going to make up three cans of tuna so that Troy can eat and we have some leftovers I always use light mayo sweet relish and then I'm going to pop in some diced up celery for a little bit of a crunch. I'll probably have some fruit with that. I'm not really sure yet but my mission in life is to try out these wasa crackers because I remember these being really really good and each one is only 35 calories and it's huge. It's the entire size of this package so I think one maybe two is going to be perfect for my tuna salad. I even chopped up some celery and put it in there so we got a little bit of a crunch. 
So here is my lunch. So I decided to just do one wasa cracker and just loaded it up with the tuna fish. I have some blueberries and some cucumbers. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, protein here on the screen for you. I'm not gonna do any dip. I just want the crunch of the cucumber, but I'm actually really excited about this. So let's taste test these wasa crackers. That's really good. Super, super crunchy. I can taste like the whole grain of it. It's really good. Perfect vessel for tuna. So I got this protein powder a while ago and like I always do, I test everything out thoroughly before I share it with you guys. I've actually shared this with a couple of coaching clients. You know who you are. This protein powder, oh my God, you guys, if you want a clean protein powder with zero sugar, zero artificial sweetener, plant protein with 30 grams of protein in it. There is not a plant protein powder on the market that I'm aware of that has 30 grams of protein, 5.2 grams of BCAAs, which is what's in my 6 a.m. run that I took this morning that helps with recovery. So this is the perfect post-workout protein, zero grams of added sugar. It has three ingredients, organic pea protein, organic brown rice protein, and organic quinoa. That is it, that's all that's in this. So if you don't want sugar, if you don't do artificial sweetener, you want a plant-based protein that's easily, that's easily digestible, plant protein is much easier to digest than whey protein, you have got to get the Oziva protein. I was floored when I saw not only the ingredients, the amount of protein that's in here, and the fact that it literally has no added sugar. I've been using this for a couple of of weeks now you can see I've made a good dent in it. It's unflavored and it's packed with protein and all clean ingredients. It literally makes my heart so happy and you can buy it right off of Amazon. I will link this down below for you guys. I cannot recommend it enough, but we're gonna make a protein shake out of it and this will be our protein source. I also placed an order on the reserve. I've shared the reserve here on my channel before. I purchased their matcha blend, which is really, really good, but I decided to pick up a few more items from the reserve and one of those is the blue spirulina powder. This has so many health benefits. We're actually going to be putting some of this in our smoothie today as well. It's this beautiful, beautiful blue color. This little packet will make a million smoothies because you literally use about one gram per smoothie. Blue spirulina improves memory and boosts your immune system, helps lower your cholesterol and improves digestion. It's a hundred percent natural blue color. It's keto friendly, caffeine free, soy free, sugar free, gluten free, non GMO, dairy free and vegan. So what it says here, on the website is you can shake or whisk this into water, milk, juice, blend into smoothies or bowls, stir into oats, salad dressings, or yogurts, or add to your favorite baking recipes. There's some really great recipes actually on the reserve website. So I'll, I'll definitely link their website down below. I'll link the blue spirulina powder for you guys with a discount. And we're going to add some of this to our smoothie today for all of those health benefits. But I picked up two more items while I was on their website. One of those is the stronger than yesterday stronger than yesterday, healthy energy support. If you didn't know, I do not drink carbonated beverages. I don't drink energy drinks or anything like that, but I'm a human being. And sometimes I have a little bit of an energy slump, especially in the afternoon. So I picked this up to try this out and this has really, really helped with my energy. I have been using this pre-workout and post-workout and, in and in the afternoon when I'm feeling just a little bit tired. This keeps your mood swings away, which is great. It improves stamina and athletic performance. It slows the aging process while supporting the immune system. It's soy-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, and vegan. So pulling it up here on the website, it says amazing healthy alternative to your usual morning coffee. This delicious trio combination will ensure the perfect balance energy throughout the day. So this tastes like chocolate. So it's a really nice addition to my coffee, my protein coffee in the morning. And it actually says sweet chocolate taste with earthy undertone. You can also bake with this. And again, there's some really great recipes on the reserve website. Website, but I love just adding this to my morning or afternoon coffee. I've been, I've been putting this in my afternoon coffee a lot, for, again, for that little boost in the afternoon, but I've really been enjoying this product and it tastes absolutely incredible. The Reserve also has a ton of gummy vitamins. You guys know I love my supplements, my vitamins. So I wanted to try out their hair, skin, and nail vitamins. These are sugar-free. A lot of gummy vitamins on the market are packed with sugar, which means they have calories and points. These are sugar-free, they're gelatin-free, the strawberry 
strawberry flavor, oh my gosh, is so good. I've been using these for a couple weeks now and I'm loving them. I'm definitely, I'm utilizing these in conjunction with my collagen in my coffee every morning. So I take two of these and my scoop of collagen. It helps eliminate toxins from the skin and increase skin metabolism. It's loaded with amino acids, essential fatty acids, vitamin A and beta carotene, all of which are great for hair growth. And it promotes healthy cell growth and aids in the metabolism of protein building amino acids that are essential for nail growth. And on their website here, it says indulge in a beauty treat that has a gentle action for your hair, skin, and nails. It's a convenient option for an active person who wants to take advantage of these benefits on the go. And they taste freaking delicious. It says these gummies promote new skin growth and can help alleviate the appearance of age spots, acne scars, small wrinkles, and areas of uneven tone and texture. They increase the flow of blood, which in turn enhances and mends the follicles of the hair necessary to grow healthy hair and helps with fingernail ridges and nail problems. Definitely, it says it tastes like sweet candy and it definitely does. They're these cute little heart-shaped gummies. And like I said, I love that these are sugar-free because I don't wanna count points or calories for my supplements. And I've really been enjoying these and they've definitely helped with my hair, my skin, my nails. These types of things are also great for skin elasticity as we lose weight. So these are the three things that I ordered from the reserve. I'll link them down below for you with a discount, but we're gonna put the blue spirulina powder in our protein shake. So here's what I'm gonna do for my protein shake. I have my Fairlife milk. I'm going to do half of a cup. This is the 2% milk. They didn't have the non-fat at Walmart, which is what I normally buy. The 2% tastes really good. It's a lot thicker and creamier, but I generally go for the low fat. I'm going to add half of a frozen banana. I just allow my bananas to get really ripe and then I throw them in a Ziploc baggie and throw them in my freezer. I'm going to add the scoop of my Oziva plant-based protein powder. I seriously love, love, love this protein powder. I can't wait to experiment with this in baking, overnight oats. I mean, there's endless things you can do with this. You put it in your oatmeal for protein oats. And then I'm going to add my one gram of my blue spirulina powder. So I'm just weighing that out here on my scale. So there is one gram. And then for a little bit of extra sweetness, since my protein powder is unflavored and unsweetened, I'm adding a tiny bit of the sugar-free vanilla syrup from Tarani. Here's what she's looking like, awfully pretty. And we're gonna go ahead and blend that up. And if I need it a little thicker, I'll add some ice. Look how beautiful she is. It is packed with amazing quality protein, blue spirulina, which is a superfood. We have a banana in here for some sweetness. It is so good. That plant-based protein powder is not gritty at all. That's what blows my mind with this protein, this plant-based powder versus others. This one is not gritty at all. You cannot taste the blue spirulina. It is the perfect sweetness. It's so creamy. Again, I'll link everything down below for you. For dinner tonight, I'm making homemade hamburger helper. I have been craving pasta and I want pasta that has a lot of protein. So we're making some hamburger helper. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. You'll need pasta. And of course, of course, we're using fiber gourmet. You guys know this is my all time favorite pasta. Troy loves this. I love this. It is half the calories, half the points of traditional pasta, three points, 110 calories per serving, 24 grams of fiber, seven grams of protein. It's your fiber for the day packed with protein and it is so good. It is seriously the taste, the texture is amazing. It is our go-to pasta. We buy ours off of Nutrition. They sell all the different shapes and the price is the best. So I'll link Nutrition down below for you. You'll need some milk, minced garlic, 93, 96%, whatever ground beef you wanna use, some beef broth, tomato paste, an onion, light shredded cheese, and some fresh parsley. Into a large skillet, we're adding our one pound of ground beef. We're going to break that up and allow that to brown. I'm going to go ahead and chop up my onion while my ground beef is cooking. Once your hamburger is just about browned, we're going to add in our chopped up onion and a big huge scoop of minced garlic. Allow all of that to cook down till your hamburger is completely cooked through and your onions are translucent. We're going to add in some salt and pepper. 
and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Mix that together really well. Now we're going to add in one cup of milk, one cup of beef broth, and our box of fiber gourmet pasta. We're going to allow this to come to a boil and then we'll cover it, allow it to simmer for about eight to 10 minutes or until our pasta is cooked al dente. I'm going to add the other half a bag of frozen corn that's in my freezer, just for some added veggies for tonight's meal. We don't really have any other veggies on hand. So adding the corn to it is going to give us a veggie. It's a starchy veggie, but it's going to give us a veggie and I think it's going to bulk up our hamburger helper. Last step is we're adding one cup of light shredded cheese. Go ahead and stir that into the pasta remove it from the heat so here is my dinner for tonight doesn't this look so good I'm really excited about this it's giving me comfort food vibes all the way so this is one sixth of the homemade hamburger helper again all of the nutrition information and points are here on the screen for you my dessert tonight I need chocolate. I need peppermint and chocolate. So I'm going to have a serving of this Choc O Love Candy Cane Crunch in Dark Chocolate Bar. A serving is a third of this bar or 30 grams. So I'm gonna do a serving, it's 150 calories. This is no dairy, no gluten, no nuts, no eggs, no cholesterol. And I'm really excited to try this out. I bought this at Sprouts. So let me open it up. Well, actually, let's do a taste test. It's time for dessert. Let's do a taste test. So here's what it looks like. <laughs> this is seriously my peppermint dreams come true. There's candy cane bits in here. Oh my God, this is so good. It is so good. I'm not even the biggest dark chocolate fan, but this isn't a bitter dark chocolate. Oh my God, this is so good. I will be buying a lot more of these at Sprouts. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. Lots of good recipes, new food finds, that amazing book box that is an absolutely perfect Christmas gift. We have a lot of good stuff in today's video. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a What I Eat in a Day or any other video. I do upload five days per week. Everything I shared with you today will be linked down in the description box, any discounts, anything I can find, links and discounts to my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.